Okay, I'm behind the scenes. I got a feeling we're getting ready to go on another farmer, Chris, treasure hunt. He has maps. I got, first question I got, are there any water lines? <laughs> <laughs> I do not know that. <laughs> uh, if there Matt, is, we'll find them. Yeah. Matt has called in 811. Oh, we're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, PSC has been here. I do not see nothing water lines. I've been told there is nothing on this county road. So, I know what I want in my head. I gotta get it in your head. Oh boy. Yeah. But I've got my uh Ooh boy. Fancy maps. I got my map. That's a simple map. Oh, I like, I like that, that map. One. We're doing that one. Yeah. That's a one day job. Yeah. That's about a four day job. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that song, Jokers to the left and Jokers to the right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put the real it. Jokers in the middle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Man, it's a nice day for this. Yeah. I know. No wonder Chris took off for work to go out and enjoy <laughs> riding. <laughs> All right, guys, good morning. It is a new day. We hold all the equipment in here Friday and uh, got the little clip going around with Chris getting a plan. We end up getting sidetracked and didn't make it back down here. So we are back. The good news is it has uh, it has cooled off. The weather is absolutely awesome this morning. Got the sweatshirt out for the first time. I'm excited. The bad news is Aaron got called into an emergency outage. So he is not here today. So it is just uh, me and all you guys. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can jump in here and give me a hand. But we're going to try to get this done. Chris, this is kind of a little bit of an emergency job and it's time sensitive. Chris is wanting to plant wheat. In this field, they need to get fertilizer spread on it. And this field lays very, very wet through the winter. So we gotta get some towel in here to get it dried out. So we're gonna do what we can. First things first, we're gonna actually take off with our first tile uh, lead here. We're gonna drop the plow in right here next to this uh, pipe. We're actually gonna plow across this county road. Keep in mind, there's only one full-time resident back there in the dead end. So hopefully we can plow across it and then put it back, no big deal. All utilities have been called in, no issues there. We're basically plowing straight up to that telephone pole because the road ditch off the state highway actually dumps out in that field and then comes down through here, keeps all this wet and uh, just makes a big mess. So first things first, I don't know if you can see out through there, but the field lays very uneven and uh, it's really hard. This is gonna be one that's crucial to hold grade on. It's very hard to hold grade whenever the ground is that uneven and you're rolling up and over stuff. So we're gonna take the dozer, make a few passes, just kind of give us a clear path up through there. And uh, hopefully that'll also uh, keep us from having to pull ourselves because it's gonna be difficult to operate two pieces of equipment at one time. So hopefully we don't get in that situation. It's dry and we don't have to go very deep. So I love looking up, let's find out. We definitely did not need AC today. Changing of the seasons. I know great, so hard to see on camera. We're basically going for that telephone pole behind us down there to the laser. And we got a big ditch washed down through the uh, field here. We got a couple roly poly humps. We got to be pretty crucial on grade on this one. So just going to try to level out our path just a little bit. Make it a little easier on us. Across this road might be our most difficult thing. I kind of pushed a little dirt up there to ease that transition down. We kind of hold grade. 
there's a nice little runway up through there. Good plow back up, drop to the ground, find out how this is gonna go. All right, I normally don't do this. You guys know my reasons on it. But since we're in the ground here, we got a whole bunch of roots. And this road's gonna be hard packed and I'm by myself. I believe we're gonna go ahead and pre-rip at least across the road, make sure we can get it. I just need to find out we're not gonna be able to get it before we actually get into too much trouble here. So let's uh, pre-rip this, see how it goes. And then we'll back back up. If I just pre-rip it right to the other side, I'll back back up and then we'll uh, get some pipe out. See what happens. I have no idea how this is gonna go. pulling so hard I literally literally just ripped a stump out of the ground and a big old rock all right let's try this again That's a, that's a rock. Stumps over there, rocks right there. I think we're just gonna take the excavator. We'll pluck that one up out of there. We're three foot deep there, which is plenty deep. And once I got past that rock, I think I actually cut it in two. You can see with the plow drug on it and then actually broke the rock right in two. <laughs> Woo! All right, I guess it's gonna work. Let's get the, uh, Excavator, we'll pluck that rock out of there, string a little bit of pipe out, and uh, see what happens. Might just be one of the few times that uh, free rip has actually paid off. That's like a cheese, man. Pull our plow back up out of the ground. Get reset. Make sure our laser's good to go. And we're gonna see if we can do this solo. Right now, anyway, we're gonna kick off the side. Get on out of here, back here. You too. That's what you call a future troublemaker. Get back to them later.
even though Aaron's not here, he'd be super proud of me. I actually remembered to bring a knife. Always have to borrow his, and then I lose it or dull it. He's never a happy camper. Today, I got my own. Oh, missed it. Here's my hope. Since Aaron's not here to hold this, I'm gonna leave a little bit extra laid out. Hopefully as I suck this into the bank, the dirt will grab and it'll start pulling it through the plow. Fingers crossed. Sweet, check that out. That come out almost uh, almost perfect. We only wasted about a foot of pipe. I'm 100% across the road. I think what we're gonna do, take the excavator, we'll kind of go ahead and smash that back flat in case somebody does need to get out. We'll get our laser reset. We're gonna go. I'm not gonna get too carried away because after we get done with this run, we actually gotta do the same thing. On the other side, we got a plow basically straight up through where my truck's at, so I just don't want to get this covered in enough. If somebody does come down the road, they can at least get through. Get the road back open, I guess you'd say. Right, we'll get both pipes across the road we'll uh obviously give them a little bit of rock and put on top of it kind of cap everything off but that should get them by for now bucket there just to kind of hold that pipe we'll go ahead and run it out next to where we're gonna plow that way it'll be need a remote control tractor some of you guys are gonna say I need to have the spool on the dozer I do not want the spool on the dozer that is way too inconvenient it may be slightly handy for what we're doing right now but for any other application it is not handy because then every time I run out of pipe I gotta pull the plow out of the ground, track the dozer wherever I want to go. This system here works way better. Long story short, it works better. Man, what an awesome day. This is kind of where we hope to end up at. This road ditch comes down and then actually drains down through the field here. It don't continue on down that way. There's a big old hump down there which is what's kind of washing all that out. So we're hoping to put a riser kind of in line with that telephone pole, basically right underneath where the tractor is going to be on the other side. We'll let that water come down the ditch, get in that riser and get out of here. We do have a fiber optic line marked right here. We're going to stay a little bit short of that guy, obviously, so we can do everything we need to do, but let's go reposition our laser. Hopefully we can plow straight up through here without much issues. All right, we got our path made. We got our pipe started. Got our laser set. All of the elevations are good. Boys and girls, I think it's time to plow some pot. Let's go.
H-E double hockey sticks, predicted we'd be plowing on solid rock right there. What in the world? Come on, baby. I had to come up a little bit to get over that rock. I'm gonna adjust my laser accordingly. Well, I'm not too high. I'm only about a quarter inch off. They won't run with it. I thought I'd come up more now. All right. Back to plow. This job is the uh, is the weight. All right, we are out of the ground. We are out of room. We're gonna assume that is the old copper line. I said there was one in there and it was obsolete, so that's what we're going with. We're nowhere close to the fiber optic line, and that does not look like fiber optic sheathing. All right, run one's in. Huge success. That worked out. Uh, that worked out rather nicely. Had a little bit of an issue with some rock and. Some hard pulling there for a while. We're still able to maintain grade, get through and get on up there. Now the next one, the next one's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge and we're gonna have to do some surveying. So if you guys have been following the channel for a long time, like three or four years ago, we were in here. We actually filled in an old pond right up there and there's a terrace that comes across there. We did a bunch of work on that terrace and that terrace is meant to drain out the end over here and come down around into the ditch. But right there where that old pond's at, it holds a whole bunch of water. So the goal is to actually plow from here all the way across this field to that old pond. But there's a big hump right here in the middle we're gonna have to take some out of. So let's hop on the Ranger, go get an eyeball on it from the other end. Uh, so we got a little bit of a plan here and kind of a sight line of where we need to go. And then we'll know how much uh, dirt we need to notch out of this hill to be able to get through to maintain grade right on the other side to get up to where we need to go. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, here's the view from the other end. Like I said, guys, there used to be a pond right here. You guys can go back and uh, I don't know if you remember what they say. It's an old, old video. 
had the old uh, 120 and 850b up here uh trees all the way around it got it all cleaned out got this terrace all cleaned up but this terrace wants to hold water right here where this old pond's at and i don't think it's going to be beneficial to try to get it all go all the way down the end i think our best bet's going to be to put a riser right here i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up here with the 850 and go ahead and blow a notch in this terrace that way i got a good sight line of where i need to head to down there and then we'll get a game plan on uh get a game plan on pushing through that other notch down there because once we get on the other side of that notch it looks like we got plenty of grade to get up here we just got to get through that hump down there all right you guys probably can't see my pickup truck back here but the ultimate goal is is to go pickup truck's kind of marking the other end go in a straight line from there straight through this berm and catch that ditch that's coming down right there obviously plowing up over the berm is not an option so that's why we're going to go through the berm and then we'll turn around and put it back after we're done Uh, that was quick and easy with a big dozer now the question is going to be how accurate can we be when we get up here without somebody helping us and actually shoot that gap and make it so okay now we got that marked that'll give us a good visual on where we need to aim for on this end the truck mark where we need to aim at down there we need to figure out how much we need to notch out that bank so Let's go do some surveying. Little path right here, just so I can kind of get a little sight line of what I'm, uh, what I'm thinking. This beans double it kind of makes the whole field blend together, and all the hills and valleys and everything's kind of camouflaged a little bit. So here's the thought process. I'm going to take about two and a half, three feet, of, two and a half to three feet out of that hill, so we can get a consistent. Why can I not talk? Get a consistent slope to here. Once we get right here. We're gonna put a T and a riser in and try to catch that water it's running down that way. It's causing all this erosion. And we can fill this in. So we'll put a T riser and a dry dam here. And then I'm hoping I can make the slightest of curves uh, by myself and go up there and shoot that gap we plowed into that uh, dam right there. So let's uh, hop back on the 850J, take a few passes out of there. That has worked very, very well in the past. Uh, kind of get down within three feet of where we need to be plow the pipe in it's way faster than digging with the excavator and the pipes laid and placed so much nicer and so much more well, well protected so all right survey complete back to the dozer i got like one two three four five motorized vehicles here and me and i'm pretty sure i've done more walking today than anything all right back to bulldozing We'll push all this dirt this way so we end up with a little bit of extra pile down there. We'll just use it to uh, build our dry dam.
Man, that dirt would be some awesome material for a pond dam. We're not trying to hold water though, we're trying to get rid of it, so. Just about got her pushed out of here. We'll get the laser set back up, see where we're at. Kind of hard, I hope the plow's all right. No way to find out. Got the notch cut through there. It looks uh, it looks good. We just gotta we just gotta hope we can hit it without needing some guidance on some steering there. But it is cut on a two percent slope up through there, which is exactly what we're gonna plow this pipe on. So next thing we need to do is get the uh, dozer back to cross the road here. I'm probably gonna do the same thing we did last time and at least pre-rip the road. That way, if we hit hook another big rock or possibly a root or two out of this tree. We'll have a clear path through there. Once we get to the other side of the road, I'm hoping we shallow up a little bit. We do got to turn ever so slightly to kind of head down that way. I think if I need to with the big excavator here, I can probably slide myself over a little bit if I have to, but let's, uh, let's cross that bridge when we get there. boys and girls that right there is not good of all the places I thought this thing might break that is not one of them holy snikes it's hard to complain she's been a good one but that's not good folks that's not good all right, guys, I missed all the excitement. I ended up pulling those top two pins out. That whole piece fell off. And uh, yeah, we got some uh, pretty serious carnage going on. It has stretched that really bad. I don't know. Me and Aaron just looked this thing over and didn't see a whole lot of cracks or anything that was concerning. But uh, that's, not, that's not good at all. It's absolutely... Horrific timing because Chris needs to get this field planted ASAP. Aaron's not here, obviously. He's uh, on an outage. One thing I know to do is let's get this thing loaded up, get back to the shop, and get a game plan on getting it fixed, see if we can get her back going as quick as possible. So, first things first, I'm gonna get this piece picked up. We'll get it out of the road because we still got the road blocked right now, which is not, not a good thing. <sighs> Get this thing out of the road. Oh, should have used both hands on that. It's a, little, it's a little slickery with all the hydraulic oil on it. Get this thing out of the way. And then, uh, obviously, this is going to have to go to the shop. Go to the shop, see what we can come up with. Oh, now I'm bleeding. This thing's just going from bad to worse. All right. We got to get something figured out because we are obviously not plowing tile with what we got. Uh, it is hard to complain about this tile plow. It is. It has worked absolutely awesome. Even with the ripped in two pieces, I have no complaints. I just gotta get it fixed. Make sure it don't happen again. And uh, carry on. Pick up the pieces, folks. Come pick up the pieces. We're all part of it. A day's work. Picking up the pieces. I would love to set this in the back of the truck where I can haul it straight to the shop, but I don't know if it'll fit in the back of the truck. Because if I get this straight to the shop, we can lift it out with a crane up there. If not, we're going to have to take a separate piece of equipment to get it to the shop, so Let's see if I can get her set down in there.
That should give you guys a little bit of perspective of uh, how big that thing actually, actually is. It's still a little guy. Luckily, we're working somewhat close to the shop. I did manage to get the boot on the back of the truck, strapped down. Let's take it to the shop. We'll get it unloaded, grab the semi, come back, grab the rest of it, and then uh, get a game plan on getting this thing back together. See if we can safely get this thing out of the truck without doing any more damage to anything. Our track record. Track record is not the best of them. Don't slide yet, baby. Switch horses. Like we're gonna go down here, loop around, come back. Try to load right here on the road. Guess there's no uh <laughs> no need to raise the plow. It's not there. We just gotta get unloaded and in the shop.
or a wounded plow. guys we have officially made it to the shop and uh there's a little closer better look at all the uh all the carnage it's uh yeah it's not good not good at all at first glance it's not good but it could be a whole lot worse at least it popped off there clean and didn't really twist or bend or uh tweak anything else most of it has to do just with those two plates of uh Two plates of steel right there. I'm still not for sure. We'll get into this tomorrow a little deeper about what actually failed and why. I think, obviously we got a weak spot right here at these pin bosses. We may have lost a weld around one of those pin bosses and uh, popped out of there, but it's hard to say. I'm not gonna speculate at this time because uh, I think you guys got a pretty good feeling what the next video is gonna be. We have got to get this thing back up and going. We got a lot of tile to put in this fall. Not a lot of tile, but we got some tile to put in this fall. And a couple farmers, a couple farmers counting on us. So this is definitely, definitely not the video I wanted to make today. But uh, this is the life of being self-employed. You wake up with the best intentions of getting something done, then you take two steps back and hope you make enough money to do it again the next day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video more than I did, because. Uh, it's not good. It's part of it. It's part of it. It's just metal. We'll get it fixed. At least nobody's hurt. But if you did, give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to make sure you don't miss out on us repairing this thing, I'd consider subscribing. That way we catch you guys on the next one. Later.